Holy smokes, guys, where have I been? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I just haven't uploaded in a while. Like, I think last video I did, I think the last Yu-Gi-Oh! openings video I did uh, was the um, Immortal Destiny. Oh my god, what was that? Like, I think I uploaded that video around Halloween, but like, I actually recorded it like super long time ago. Okay. So, I'm actually recording this. It's actually probably about a week until Christmas or so. Um, but I'm going to upload this on New Year's Day, January 1st. Um, I think that's actually a Wednesday anyway, isn't it? Hello, I am too good for my own good. Yes, it is. Okay. So, today I'm going to be opening... <laughs> Uh, I got three legacy packs, so check it out, guys. I got two Blue Eyes, a Legend of Blue Eyes, and one Metal Raiders. <coughs> so, yeah, this is one of the ones that it's like you get one booster pack and ten cards, uh, two of which two of which are rares. Now, that's not necessarily just rare uh, with, like, eight commons. It's like, it's... It could be like pretty much any rarity, at least with in my experiences with these. So I decided, you know, let's take a little bit of a look back. Um, you know, for my first video back. And uh, yeah, let's. Uh, you know what? Let's just get into it. Uh, I think I'm gonna save Metal Raiders for last. Let's go with the. Let's go with Legend of Blue Eyes first. Okay. Um, just because like uh, Metal Raiders, honestly, is like one of my favorite packs. I also have a little bit of a different set up like it's pretty like it's the same angle for you guys but for me it's kind of different because it's like I'm actually not using my tripod because like or either of my tripods because for some reason okay I'll take a look at those in a minute for some reason um both of my uh plates tripod uh plates seem to have disappeared I don't know why I don't know where they are Anyway, so anyway guys, let's take a look at the 10 cards we got. So here we have uh, Brotherhood of the First uh, Boar, okay, and oh, hey, check it out guys, Noble Knight, each tar, how do you say that, Ektar, Ektar, I don't know, I don't know how to say that, but still, that's pretty cool, I just got a Noble Knight, that's awesome, okay, cool, <laughs> Caleb, beat your heart out, you know, you probably have like, a playset of playsets of those, but whatever. Uh, here I have Child's Play, Deskbot Jet, Cloudcat. Oh, okay, Cloud Castle. Um, here we have Book of Moon. Okay, cool. That that actually that actually works with my uh, vampires uh, deck, so I'm totally cool with that. Uh, Foolish Burial, Forbidden Lance. Oh, the one time I don't use the Forbidden Play mat. Really? Oh, come on. Oh, somebody's messing with me. Uh, terraforming and mystical space. Oh, God. Okay, you know what? That's actually really, really cool. These are actually really cool. Yeah, let's check this out, guys. You know what? Like, I think that alone just made it worth the cost of the pack. Like, originally... Okay, and yeah, this is a super rare, by the way. Uh, yeah, like, I think these cards alone just made it worth it. Oh, my God. That's awesome. So... Yeah, okay, off to a great start, and I haven't even opened the pack yet. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got in here. Le uh, Legend of Blue Eyes. Okay, let's see. How carefully can I open it? Oh. Darn. All right. And here we go. Boom. Okay, so we have hard armor, uh, arm mail, uh, wasteland, steel ogre grotto number one, uh, final flame, and uh, is there is there like a hollow maybe? Ah, uh, nope. All right, so just final flame. Uh, what is it like? Six hundred points of damage to your opponent. Uh, Hitatsumi giant, laser cannon armor. That's a good card. Uh, Turtle Tiger and Drooling Lizard. <laughs> I actually like that it's called Drooling Lizard just because of like that first episode of Yu-Gi-Oh when Tristan referred to them as Drooling Monsters. 
Do what monsters did, Nimrod. Okay. Uh, turtle, tiger. Let's see, what is there? Turtle, tiger, turtle, bird. Crab, turtle. And crab, turtle. <laughs> turtle, turtle. Okay. Uh, let's do a grotto. Yeah, so... Let's see if I can get this. I think both Steel Ogre Grottos are in these packs. Let's see if I can get them both. Steel Ogre Grotto number one and two. It's kind of a long shot because it's like, you know, I only have two of the Legend of Blue Eyes, but let's see. Let's, see, let's just see. Yeah, at the very least, let's see if I can get three hollows. Uh, all right, come on, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Don't let me down now. Oop. Okay, there's a hollow. A waterfall of dragon souls. Um, oh, check this out. I got two super rares. All right, DDD, wave high King Caesar. Wave high King Caesar, hello. Okay. Oh, Amazon's pet log. I don't know if I have this one, actually. Do I have this? Huh. Yeah, this is one that must have like fallen through the cracks for me, so I'm actually having good luck here, guys. I hope you guys realize that. It's actually pretty awesome. Uh, Partheon Shot. Parina, eh. Okay, not a big fan of those. Lincoln for Flyer, that's a Cybers. Uh, Psychic t uh, Tracker. Uh, Salamangre Wolvie. Shira Nui Squire Sock. Oh, okay, cool. I think this one works with uh, vampires pretty well, too. I think this is the one, right? Uh, TG Tank Web. Okay, so let's see. Um, Oh, God, that's a tiny little paragraph to read. Uh, one tuner, one non-tuner monsters. Uh, you can special summon one Shiranui Squire Sagas once per turn. Once per turn, you can banish one face-up monster you control or in your graveyard. Then apply these effects in sequence depending on what the monster was before it was banished if it was any of these. Okay, so if it's a zombie monster, uh, you can have all monsters you control gain 300 attack. Okay, fire. Uh, you can destroy one spell or trap card on the field, and in synchro, you can destroy one monster on the field. Cool. Okay. So, power up my monster. Destroy a trap card, destroy a monster. Cool. That's actually pretty cool. And TG Tank Rub. Alright. So, no steel over... Oh, wait. I haven't opened the pack yet, have I? Ha! I'm a dunce. And yes, I just farted. Um, okay. Alright, here we go. Second Legend of Blue Eyes. Yeah, I'm not going to try to open it. Yeah, I'm not trying to... Alright, so here we have the Furious Seeking, Dark Energy, Fiend Reflection, and... Uh-oh, Violet Crystal. Oh, okay, Flame Ghost, and... Ah, uh, nope. No hollows. Alright, that's okay. Flame Ghost is kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Skull Servant is all for rock. Okay. Uh, here I have Follow Wind, Hitatsumi Giant. Okay, I got two of these, and two Laser Cannon, and two Turtle Tigers. Okay. All right, well, not bad. A um, couple of duplicates. That's fine with me. Uh, let's see. So let's just put that there. A lot of fire in this deck isn't in these uh, packs. Come on. Stay put. Come on, Flame Go, Stay put. All right. All right, now let's move on to our Metal Raiders. Last pack, guys. Let's see if we can get... I don't even care. Like, you know what? I actually really, really love... Um, I actually really, really love the uh, Metal Raiders. Like, there's really no bad cards in this set. This is It's probably one of my favorites, actually. Okay, so let's see. What have we got here? I need to get some more of, like, Pharaoh's Servant, though. Let's see, maybe in a future video. Let's let's just see where we're at here. Uh, renewal of the world. Ooh. Uh, and also, Desma Desmanian Devil. <laughs> okay, kind of cool. Uh, FA Offroad Grand Prix. Uh, Lincoln for Flyer. FA Downforce. Smile Universe. 
Ooh, Divine Serpent Geh. Dude, that's amazing. Dude, check that out. Yeah, like, okay, so I'm not a big player of, like, Reptile Monster, even though I really should be, but that is fantastic. That is fantastic. Oh, my God, that's awesome. Okay, I'm not going to read that tiny little paragraph, but seriously. That is, oh, man, that's awesome. Galaxy Brave. Uh, Will of the Salamangrate and Dino Wrestler Kepe Adabada, whatever you call that. And a Dino, um, I got a Dino Wrestler. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to try and pronounce that. So, all right, so no hollows in that one, just two rares. That's okay. You know, I got two, I got, I got a couple of stupers. Uh, so, so far I got two super rares. I got two. That's all right. That's fine. Let's see. I'm going to try... Okay, so, again, I really don't know what to hope... What I should be crossing my fingers for, because, like, really, all these cards are great. Oh! <laughs> I saw one of my personal favorite cards just now. Check it out, guys! Baby Dragon! <laughs> okay. I know, I know. I need to stop with that. Labyrinth Ta Oh! Paradox Brothers card! All right, cool! Dream Clown? All right. Oh, man, that's one of the... Oh, man. That's one of the fusion cards for Bakori Box. Ooh, Oh, God, that card. Uh, Mystic Horseman. All right. And let's see. Anything hollow? No. Uh, Witch of the Black Forest. Rare. All right. Well, that was also a kind of a classic episode. You know, you can't go wrong with uh, Witch of the Black Forest. You know, that was this card was pretty much a staple when, it, when the game originally came out. Especially after Metal Raiders came out. You know, that duel with Rebecca Hawkins. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Alright. And here we have Queen's Double. Bottom Dweller. I think that's like a Mako card. Like, it's definitely a fish, Aqua. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's like meant to be a Mako card. I don't know. Even though we never actually use it. And, okay, let's see. Oh, we got a... We got a... Okay. Ah, uh, Kaminari Attack. Okay. I think it, yeah, I think he's pretty, yeah, he's actually pretty easy to get in this pack. Like, I know, I know, like, this, this, there's, like, a lot of commons, you know, you're not, like, guaranteed hollows or anything, but still, he's pretty common in the in these packs. And I got Ancient Elf. That's actually a card I haven't seen in a while, so that's cool. So, yeah, everybody, um, yeah, but, the, like, I think these three kind of made the pack worth it, right? Like, even though, like, they're not playable, or not, at least I don't think they are. You know, I'm, I'm wondering if Witch of the Black Forest is going to make a comeback. Because it seems like Magician of Faith has. Like, she was in the uh, Order of the Spellcasters uh, structure deck. Which was kind of surprising for me. I'm, Yeah, a card that old. I mean, you figured, like, who was it? Originally, Taya. Um, like, she was the ma uh, Magician of Faith in... Um, in that duel with Bakora in the Shadow Realm. But yeah, um So to see like Magician of Faith make a comeback in like Spellcaster's deck, I'm wondering if Witch of the Black Forest will do the same. Because it's a, it's amazing people don't really use her that much. It's like, yeah, her main purpose is to get destroyed in battle, but it's still actually a really good card. You know, cause because then you get to search out a monster, you know? Like if you protect her enough, like I don't know. Like if like if you protect her a little bit, it's like she could actually be very useful. I, I'm I'm wondering if she's gonna make a comeback. You know, kind of like the way Magician of Faith is starting to. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, share, subscribe, all that fun and good stuff. Uh, keep my channel going. Um, yeah, and I'll uh, just catch you all later. Take care, guys. Take care. Hey everyone, this is Richard Baranowski. I hope you all enjoyed the video you just saw, and if you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to give this video a like and a share, and also please support me on Patreon. I hope to see you all in my next video. Take care.